Hey, Julian Kraus here, and I was curious how different sound recorders compare to each other in terms of preamp noise performance. Well, I worked with quite a few different audio capturing devices in the past, and I used this opportunity to test them all. So here we are going to compare the preamp noise of the sound devices Mix Pre series, the Zoom F series, a Zoom H5, and I will also throw two audio interfaces into the mix, namely the Rode AI-1 and the Roland Duo Capture X. To compare the noise of these devices, I measured the so-called equivalent input noise. For that, I connected a 150 ohms resistor up to the tested devices, which essentially mimics a dynamic microphone, and then measured the noise produced by each recording device. The measured noise figures will give you a pretty good idea how preamp noise performance of these devices stack up against each other with a dynamic mic connected. Before I share my results, I will let you listen to the noise each device produced with my dummy mic connected, so you can get a feeling how much the noise performance differs. All the recordings are boosted by an equal amount in post, so you can clearly hear the noise. But other than that, there is no additional processing done. And here are the results in numerical form. The first place, in terms of preamp noise performance, goes to the Sound Devices Mix Pre series, with an equivalent input noise of minus 129.7 dBU. The second place goes to the Rode AI-1, with an EIN of minus 127.9 dBU. Very close to that are the Zoom F-series devices, their equivalent input noise is at minus 127.8 dBU. The Roland Duo Capture X ends up in the fourth place with minus 124.6 dBU. And last but not least, the Zoom H5 with an EIN of minus 120.5 dBU. As I already stated in the beginning, you can now take these numbers and directly compare them. As an example, let's take a Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 and a Zoom H5. When you subtract the equivalent input noise of the H5 from the equivalent input noise of the Mix Pre 3, you will get a difference of 9.2 decibels. This means that you can expect about 9 decibels difference in noise between a Mix Pre 3 and a Zoom H5 when you're recording with dynamic microphones. You now know how all these devices compare to each other, but you might still be curious how these numbers translate into the real world. Well, you're in luck. Here is my personal rating system. With it, I will assign different colors to the tested devices based on how much noise you can roughly expect. So all devices with a dark green rating have a noise floor that will be negligibly low in pretty much any recording situation. A light green rating means that this device will give you just a tiny amount of noise, but in most recording situations, this will be completely inaudible. A yellow rating means that this device will produce a small amount of noise, which depending on your recording situation might be perceived by some listeners. An orange rating is signaling that you will most likely encounter a noticeable amount of noise in your recordings. You might still get away with it with some denoising, but I would definitely try to avoid this. And a red rating will indicate a high amount of noise, which in most situations would lead to unusable recordings. And this is how I would rank these devices. As you can see, I distinguished between the use of condenser and dynamic microphones. When using condenser mics, all these devices will have a great noise performance. That's because condenser mics typically have a high sensitivity and the noise produced by the mic itself is normally quite a bit higher than the noise of any preamp. So in practice, your noise performance is actually limited by the mic itself and not by the preamp. And because of that, any preamp noise from the Mix Pre series down to the Roland interface will be negligible in your recordings. And even the Zoom H5 will produce very low noise recordings in combination with condenser microphones. 
Dynamic mics on the other hand typically have a low sensitivity and a low amount of self noise. And this brings out the preamp noise of a recording device. In this scenario you will benefit from the ultra low noise preamps of the Mix Pre series resulting in very clean recordings. The Zoom F series devices and Rode AI1 will also offer a great preamp noise performance and in turn result in low noise recordings. The Roland Duo Capture X on the other hand starts to struggle a bit. The noise floor will still be low, but depending on your recording situation you might just start to notice it. And I personally cannot recommend using dynamic mics with the Zoom H5 as this combination tends to result in recordings with a noticeable amount of noise. Please keep in mind that this rating system is just a very rough estimate. The final amount of noise you will get in your recordings is of course heavily influenced by how loud your sound source is and how close you can get your mic. Let's say you want to record somebody whispering at one meter away from a dynamic microphone. This would be pretty much impossible to pull off with a Zoom H5 without getting an excessive amount of noise. On the other hand, if you record someone yelling into a dynamic mic which is touching their lips, then a recording with a Zoom H5 would be totally fine. So to recap, when you use condenser microphones it is possible to get low noise recordings with all the tested devices. And for the most part you don't really have to worry about preamp noise at all. But when you use dynamic mics, the noise performance of the preamp will become relevant and can then make a noticeable difference in your recordings. And the noise floor you finally end up with is also heavily dependent on the sound pressure level produced by your sound source and your microphone's distance to the source. So get your mic close. I hope you like this detailed comparison of these audio devices. Feel free to like and subscribe and if you want to learn more about preamp noise you can also go to my second channel where I show how I made these measurements and dive deeper into the technical stuff. Okay, that's all for now. I see you in the next one.